Hey there Fallout fans, it's McFly back again with another Fallout 76 Legendary Script opening, the almost weekly series where I head on down to the Rusty Pick and try to persuade the purveyor into giving me something good. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. If you want to follow the series, you can hit that subscribe button down there so you don't miss any of the weekly Fallout 76 videos. And it's a new year, so uh, new year, new me. I hope you all had a happy new year. I just got back from a two week break and I hope my RNG is better for it. You ever feel like that happens? You take a break from like a live service game and then when you come back, they just like throw good stuff at you. Just probably try to get you hooked or something. I don't know. That's why I feel like in some games, but that's irrelevant. Let's get down to it. We have some script to spend. It's the first of the year and let's just hope the purveyor woke up in a good mood today. As always, I have my thousand script and I'm going to be going for three star legendary ranged weapons. First RNG of the year. Let's hope for the best. Wow, and it looks like we're off to a great start. We have a bloodied submachine gun. Alongside the bloodied effect, it also has a 25% faster fire rate and then 25% less fats action point cost. Holy crap, all right, so we got a bloodied 25-25. That is some great RNG to start off the year. Here we go, guys. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> all right, I don't even know what to think about this one. We got a furious fat man. With the furious effect, it also has bash damage increased by 40% and then a plus 50% damage resistance while aiming. And of course, with a great roll like before, we have to get the first dud of the year, and this has to be it. It's kind of funny to see furious on a fat man because there's no way you're doing consecutive blows that fast. But hey, it's always a nice weapon to see. It's kind of like a Fallout classic. Number three. A medic's Gauss rifle. Vats criticals heal you and your group, and with it you have a 33% Vats hit chance and a 90% weight reduction. This roll really isn't the best, I can't see the medics really helping you out. Though normally when I get a Gauss rifle it comes with 25% faster fire rate. I'm really happy that it's not on this for once. But this is probably more scrip, it doesn't really matter. Number 4. An executioner's combat shotgun. This one actually looks pretty promising. It has an executioner's ability with bullets explode and a 25% less VATS action point cost. For all those shotgun fans out there, this is a pretty nice roll. Maybe slap an automatic receiver on that and go to town. And for me personally, executioner's has always had a soft spot in my heart. It's always helped me when I needed it too. So for that, thank you. Number five. Ooh, a fixer. Nice. First fixer of the year. Not the craziest roll though, but it's not the worst either. We got a plus 30% damage to Mirelurks and Bugs. Fats critical shots do plus 50% damage and then a 25% less Fats action point cost. I do like to see that Vats synergy going on there and I mean maybe I'll have to try this out on a Myler Queen. Number six, I, yeah, six. A Mutant Slayer's short ultra sight laser pistol. More damage to super mutants alongside a plus 50% limb damage and then plus 50 damage resistance while aiming. It's very meh, just meh or bleh. You could turn it into a rifle and maybe make it automatic, but I still wouldn't even say it's worth your time. Maybe I'll sell it, I don't know. Number seven. Back to shotguns, we got a Ghoul Slayer's Combat Shotgun. Does more damage to ghouls and then bashing damage increased by 40% and then a 15% faster reload. Not the best roll. I definitely appreciate the faster reload, but the other two perks can just... no. No thanks. Number 8. Another shotgun. First Nocturnal of the year, not proud of that. But it's a Nocturnal Combat Shotgun. Bullets explode for area damage with a 25% less VATS action point cost. Happy to see the bottom two perks, but Nocturnal... Nocturnal, I don't even know what to say. It'd probably be kind of interesting. It's probably really intricate. I've never really tried it. Maybe one day. Number nine. More 
Shotguns. Stalker's short double barrel shotgun. If not in combat, yeah, you know what Stalker's is. Plus 10% damage while aiming and faster movement speed while aiming. Gonna move on from this one. That's a nope. Number 10. Ooh, I got a two shot Goss minigun. 25% faster fire rate and plus one agility. Super happy to see a Goss minigun. I usually don't get that from the purveyor. I usually have to waste my legendary modules and still get a bad roll. But I kind of like this one. I'm gonna have to try it out. Some pretty nice rolls to start out the year. I'm actually really happy about it, but I don't think I'm done yet. Before I end my turn, I'm gonna play my daily script card. And secondly, I'll play my scoreboard script card in defense mode. And finally, I'll play the magic card polymerization to combine them together. And with the power of magic, editing, and math, I have enough for five more rolls. So I'm gonna go do that. So let's just keep counting, we got 11. A quad tesla rifle, quadruple ammo capacity with 10% damage while aiming and a 90% weight reduction. That's not too bad in my eyes, I'm, I've actually never had a quad tesla rifle so now I'm curious. I'm gonna leave that out to you the viewer, I actually don't know what to think about this one, is, it a, is that a good roll? I don't know. Number 12. A stalker single action revolver, uh, this one comes with bullets explode for area damage and faster movement speed while aiming. That's a big nope. You can take it back, Todd. Take it back. Number 13. Ooh. Okay, well, it's a cry later, but I see vampires and I get happy. But we have the vampire's effect with a VAT's critical shots do plus 50% more damage. And then a faster movement speed while aiming again. I hate seeing that perk. I'm a fan of a cry later. I just think they look cool, they sound cool, and they shoot little ice dart things if you mod it right. And like I said before, I like vampires. That effect just basically lets you not care about your health bar as much. I really, really like it. I might sell this though, I don't know. Number 14. Mutant Slayer Short Lever Action Rifle. With more damage to super mutants, you can get Vats Critical Shots do 50% more damage and then 250 damage resistance while reloading. This one's straight down the middle, not really worth it. It's very plain Jane. And finally, number 15. Ooh. Very nice, a Vampire's Goss minigun. She must have heard me, she's being nice to me for some reason. I don't like it. Plus 25% faster fire rate with this one, and then also plus one perception. Really glad to see another Goss minigun. I am gonna say the last one is probably more of a favorite for me. I am looking for a new build for the new year, but I don't wanna go back to heavy guns. This one I might just sell. Yeah, I'm probably gonna sell it. Actually, can you even sell a Goss minigun? I've never tried. I'll have to find out. And that'll be it. I gotta say, it's actually a pretty good start to 2021. Started off strong with that bloodied submachine gun, and then, you know, there was a couple nice little gems along the way. She didn't fully fill me with disappointment this time, and I really appreciate that. Hopefully she can keep this up for next week. But as always, thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. A like is always appreciated, and if you want to see more Fallout 76 content like this, or overall entertainment, you can check out my channel down there and work away. As for me, I've been slacking a lot after that vacation I just had, so uh, I got a lot more editing to do. I'll catch you out there in the wasteland.